Next, I wanna talk about the word equity and I wanna talk about the word mortgage, okay? If I wanna buy a home, and let's say this home is $150,000 US, then most people don't have 150,000 saved up in the bank. How are young people buying houses? Well, what they'll do is they'll go to a bank, they'll give the bank a little bit of money and the bank will give them a mortgage. The mortgage is, and another name for that is a note. That's where the bank says, all right, we looked at your job history, we looked at the money you're making, we feel comfortable with you, we're actually going to give you a mortgage, which means we're gonna lend the money you don't put up. So let's just say for a moment you put up the typical 3%, 5%, but for easy math today, we'll call it 10%. Let's say you came up with $15,000, then the mortgage would be for the difference. So 150 grand minus this 10% down, down as in down payment, would be the remaining balance of 135,000. So I put $15,000 of a down payment and there was a $135,000 mortgage. Now that mortgage is gonna come with an interest rate because the bank's gonna say, we're not giving you our money for free. You gotta pay that back over time plus interest. So the bank says, we're going to do a 6% interest rate. And you're thinking, okay, well if I'm paying this back over 30 years and I've got that interest rate, they'll do some math and they'll tell you essentially what your payment's gonna be. Let's just assume for this example that your payment is $800. Okay, that's just a guess out of the wild blue. This $800 is your mortgage payment, okay? Now, we've got a home, it's a single family home, it's not a duplex, not a condo, it's, it's not a triplex or multifamily, it's just a home with one door and a doorknob and a happy family inside their windows and a chimney like that. Now. Let's say that you have this home and you decide we're not gonna live there. We're gonna rent it out. Another word for rent is lease. So we are going to lease the home. My mortgage is $800, but I might get my renters to pay $1,000 a month. My mortgage payment is 800. My rent payment or my lease is for $1,000 a month. So this is my rent payment. This is my mortgage payment. And the difference is that if you have to pay the bank 800 every month, but your renter gives you 1,000, there's some leftover money. How much? 1,000 minus 800 is 200. What do we call that? That's called cash flow. And cash flow is good. So you buy a property, and uh, let's say all of a sudden that this house, I'm gonna throw you a zinger. Now this house is worth $200,000. It's worth 200, you bought it for 150. You put $15,000 down, you've got a mortgage for 135, but it's worth 200. Here's the question. How much equity does it have? What's equity? The equity is the difference between what it's worth and what you owe. So in this case, 200,000 minus the 135 is $65,000 of equity. Isn't this awesome? Are you learning this language? You can rewatch this video. These are the basics that you want to get really comfortable with. And literally in the beginning, just copy me. Just copy what I'm saying because I'm telling it to you the right way, okay? So I have $65,000 of equity. You might say, but Chris, what about my 15,000 that I put down? That's now part of the equity because you would get this 50,000 out plus the 15 you put down. The equity represents the total amount between what it's worth and what's owed. By the way, when you do investment real estate, you're looking for equity and you're looking for cash flow. So I wanted to you know, teach you these basics so that you understand equity is a very good thing. Cash flow is a really good thing.